PTC has a hardware checker that you can download and run to see if your computer meets the requirements for graphics card and memory. Starting in Creo 5 with the introduction of Creo Simulation Live, certain applications run off of your computer's GPU or graphics processing units. And in addition to CSL, also the generative topology optimization application and Render Studio now use GPU for certain functions. So when you go to this URL, ptc.com slash en slash Creo Hardware Check, you can download the application. Be aware that the en in the URL is for English. So if you are using a different language, your URL might be different. When you go to the page, there are currently three different versions of the hardware checker that you can download. One for Creo 4, Creo 5, and Creo 6, and the initial build code of Creo 7. Now, I mentioned that the applications that use the GPU were released in Creo 5, but Creo Simulation was also made retroactive to later build codes of Creo 4. And there is a second version if you are using later build codes of Creo 4, also build codes of Creo 6 and Creo 7. And there is a third one for later build codes of Creo 7 and Creo 8. And again, this is because when Creo introduces new functionality in a certain version, they'll sometimes backport it or make it available in later build codes of a previous version. So I'm going to download the one for my computer and run it, and then we'll come back. I have downloaded and run the hardware check utility. You can see that it automatically runs for three different applications and it's showing for Creo Simulation Live. I have the green check mark. Let's go to the second one for Creo Generative Topology Optimization and says, yep, you qualify for that. And I've got a little warning symbol next to Creo Render Studio. And when I click on that one, it says, uh-oh, my hardware is not qualified for Creo Render Studio. And it gives some more detail about what I lack in my current computer. There is a checkbox that you can expand that shows your hardware information. Let me collapse that. And you can also copy this information to the clipboard. And there is an about button. So this way you can see if your computer meets the necessary requirements for running some of the advanced applications.